Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And we reached 700 subscribers. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's get to a thousand. My goal is like a thousand by the end of the year. I know I'm being a little bit ambitious here, but today what I want to talk about is the New York Giants running back position and who could potentially back up Saquon Barkley at that position. So first we have Javon Leak, then we have Deion Lewis, John Hilleman, and Wayne Gallman. Those are the current running backs on the roster that I believe if I miss somebody. No, I didn't miss anybody. These are the guys that are on the roster. Let's start off with Javon Leak. Each each of these guys has their pros and cons based on what we need. So what we need right now, I think, is a guy that's going to be able to get that third down, is going to be able to be a little bit of a change of pace guy, and um, overall just be able to lessen the load off of Saquon Barkley. That's what we need right now. We don't need a guy that's going to be able to be a three down back. If Saquon Barkley gets injured, you know, we invested a lot of money in him. Obviously, it would suck. But we can always see, always get like a running back in, in the later rounds next year or something like that. But what we need is a guy who can come in on third downs, be a little bit of a misdirection guy, be a little bit of a change of pace from Saquon Barkley. And some of these guys can potentially do that, like Javon Leak. Now, I looked at his combine, like when he ran the 40, he just looked really awkward. Like, he, I'll put up his 40 now. It's just like, how, well, how are you running like that? He ran like a 4.7 at, at the combine. He also ran a 4.65, which is, you know, the time that they've given. A lot of people are like, oh, he's one of the fastest people. No, I think when you're playing with inferior talent, um, you look faster. You know, there's a lot of times where he zooms past everybody, but it's just like, well, he that, that didn't look that sexy. It's not like he burst past, and I'm like, whoa. He didn't really shoot out of a cannon. He's patient. He has good vision in that sense. But I don't think he's going to be able to be a three-down back, especially since he was backing up Anthony McFarlane Jr., who, by the way, got drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot of Giants fans wanted him. Uh, Javon Leak, if you don't remember, he went to Maryland. He is a kick return specialist. I think that's where he's going to be. He's going to be a kick returns, kind of living in that role for a little bit earlier in the year because that's what rookies do. And they go on special teams, and uh, they basically learn how to play the game. But we have a smart running backs coach in uh, Burns from Alabama, I think that he's going to be able to give Javon Leak a little bit of, uh, you know, a t- teaching how to go to the NFL. I think he has some athleticism, but not great. He only had a 34-inch vertical. But then again, when I watched a guy like uh, the Cam Akers who got drafted by Florida State, I didn't see much out of him too. Uh, I read a scouting report saying Javon Leak breaks a lot of tackles, but I saw a bunch of these other guys break way more tackles than the, what Javon Leak did. He was kind of shooting gaps and holes and things like that. He didn't explode through them. Oh, that was a weird way to say it, but, you know, each year he's gotten better. You know, his yards per attempt have gotten down, but, you know, he's played more games and he's had way more reps. I'll put up the stats now. He just has way more reps. Seven yards per attempt is great in college. You know, we have the Derrick Henrys that, like, feels like just give him the ball on first down and they're going to get another first down. It's, like, it's just unfair at some point, but he played in Maryland. He played in not a, not a great school, let's just say that. You know, they were inferior to Ohio State. They lost... So many games. They went three and nine or three and eight last year, which is you know not a good team. Yeah, you know, they play in the Big Ten. They are the bottom feeders there. But take a look at it against Syracuse. Seven attempts, one hundred seven yards. He can't do that every single game. But he had two touchdowns, and yeah, so he didn't really do well at kick returns last year. But he's an amazing kick returner. He can be used in that front as well. You know, we have Cody Core now. A lot of guys that can be used for special teams. I think that's going to be vital for Joe Judge assessing the personnel of the team. He is not. Uh, he does not come out of the backfield and catch a lot. He only had ten receptions last year for fifty nine yards. It may be something that Maryland didn't do a lot, but yeah. So he's not really going to come out of the backfield, but he he can, he's capable of doing that. He's not going to break tackles. He he's not. Deion Lewis is going to break tackles. He's nice and physical, but he has some size to him. He's six foot, two hundred six pounds. John Hillman, who has fumble problems, like Javon Leak. Uh, Javon Leak did fumble in a game. Uh, towards the end of the game that pretty much cost them the game but he it's not like a huge problem but John Hillman fumbles missing gaps I don't think John Hillman's a guy he is a bigger guy he's like he's six foot I think 230 pounds or 220 pounds so he's a little bigger the idea of bringing him in him in was like a, a stuffer a run punisher but what we from what we've seen from the Giants when we bring in a guy to fit a need they usually don't succeed you know we brought in Nate Solder because we need a left tackle that didn't end up working out, you know, so that sort of thing. You bring in guys that are of good talent, and you kind of fill in the gaps a little bit, but when you pay a lot of guys, a uh, guy a lot of money because you need him, that's not always the best uh, decision to make. John Hilleman, I think I think he's, the writing's on the wall. He's a Giants fan. It's sad. You know, he's a big fan in 2012. 
I think there was a story of like him him being uh you know being at the game or something like that. But John Hillman, I don't think has a future with the Giants. So let's get that off the bat. Next, Dion Lewis. He's a little bit old, but he has some Darren Sproles qualities in him, which I like. He's that change of pace guy that I think will be really helpful for the Giants. He signed a one year contract with us. He's familiar with Joe Judge. I think he'll be a great asset in the locker room with some experience. Joe Judge said, you know, we're teachers. We want to teach guys how to play the game. But Dion Lewis is going to be able to ease the tension in the locker room a little bit with like maybe they're hitting hard at practice. And Dion Lewis is like, no, trust me, this guy's a winner. This guy knows how to win. He's from my, he played with Mike Vrabel too, that sort of thing. He had a big game against the Saints where, you know, when they were benching Derrick Henry to rest him up for the playoffs, it, it was an insane stat game. And yeah, so as far as him being sustainable and being the bell cow back for a team, obviously that's not going to be it. But that's, I think Deion Lewis is exactly what we need. I want a guy that's just scary in space and be like, oh, I don't want that guy. He's great at catching balls out of the backfield, which is something that Javon Leak couldn't do. He has below average power, and it's kind of like an all or nothing thing. I know a lot of running backs are all or nothing. You look at their stats at the end of the game, but their one Indiana game where it's just like, you know what? He he rushed one play for 30 yards, another play for 21, another play for six, and in the remaining five carries, he had six yards. This happens with running backs, you know, commonly, but I think what, um, I think in the end, what Javon Leak is used to is just being a change of pace guy, being able to, you know, uh, do have a different set of qualities than a Saquon Barkley that a team would just be like, oh, I'm not used to that. And I think that can be useful. Now, as far as him versus Wayne Gallman, I'd pick Wayne, uh, I'd pick, uh, sorry, Javon Leak because Wayne Gallman has had that injury history. He's a master of none. He is a little bit twitchy. He has more raw talent, I think, than a Javon Leak. He's explosive. He's a good pass catcher out of the backfield. But that's not what we need him for. Uh, the, he's kind of He was kind of like that guy that we picked for Saquon Barkley after he got injured. That he's gonna, he's just a, you know, a, he's average. You know, Wayne Gallman is like an average running back, not average in the league as far as him being like fifteenth overall. I mean, just an average running back that's like, uh, he's not gonna mess anything up really. Take a look at it. White when he replaced Saquon Barkley, he did not play well at all. Three point five yards per attempt. Uh, you know, he 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 did decent in the past game with six receptions, fifty five yards. But we, we we saw that, you know, he wasn't really going to be the answer. Yeah, so Wayne Gallman, he, he's a decent piece. I'm not saying he sucks, but he's the same size as Javon Leak. I think Javon Leak has a higher upside. They're both six feet tall, around 205, 210 pounds. So in the end, I think that our, you know, our running back class should be Javon Leak, Deion Lewis, and uh, Saquon Barkley. I think those are the three we should carry. And then obviously we have Elijah Penny, so that's four running backs. Javon Leak will be special teams in the beginning, and hopefully he can work a little bit of a role, you know, towards the end of the season. But let me know what you guys think. Should we bring back a Wayne Gallman? I mean, we drafted him in the fourth round, but eventually you have to get rid of draft picks. I mean, he, he wasn't a horrible draft pick. We drafted him in the fourth round, but you gotta get, I think you got to give this new guy a chance. I don't think he's amazing, but I think uh, he has a spot on this roster. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.